Threaten, a fake band that booked a UK tour at big venues. Genius art project or insane narcissist? Coming up. Hey, mom, keep it down. Try to rock it in the basement of the crowd. Have you heard about this guy, Jared Threaten? He pulled off this amazing uh, musical caper in that he made a ton of fake PR sites, uh, media sites, uh, YouTube accounts, Facebook likes, uh, videos that are really not the greatest quality at all. So I'm surprised that this actually went through. But basically, this guy Jared Threaten from LA has a band. It's kind of like a butt rock, metal rock, emo rock project or something. Um, and he made this whole fake fan base in order to book this world tour, UK tour, um, without ever having played a show in the US. And he sold out, or not, didn't sell out, but he bought a bunch of tickets and bought out a bunch of huge UK venues in order to have this tour. It's pretty nuts. It's a, it's this, kind of this elaborate hoax, like slash, like catfishing game that he's playing. Uh, and it's just cra the craziest part is like, who does this actually benefit? Like the the, the point of actually doing this because nobody is showing up to these shows. But there's a bunch of social media posts on it. Uh, I would just Google threaten, and you'll be able to find. A bunch of information on it. It's worth reading into and, and worth a an hour or a half hour of your time to investigate it yourself and look into all the different things. It's it's pretty fascinating stuff. Um, I feel like this guy is like the Tommy Wiseau of the internet age of rock music. Uh, Tommy Wiseau Wiseau uh, is the creator of the movie The Room. If you've never checked that out, check that out. Uh, basically, this guy that you know fronted a bunch of money to make this movie that he thought was going to be this like amazing uh, classic movie and it turned out to be one of the worst best movies or the worst best movie of all time. So uh, Threaten I wouldn't say is, is like as similar but he almost kind of looks like Tommy Wiseau. I don't know if they're from the same planet. There's they're, maybe they're related or distant cousins or from uh, you know the vampire planet wherever these guys are from. Um, but the thing is like this costs a lot of money to do like you're talking like he has a full touring band that went along with him and they had to fly to the UK, lodging in the UK, uh, buying tickets to the venues that they're saying that they sold tickets for. Uh, and like I said, to, to stress, like nobody's showing up to the shows. There's a few people showing up and I guess the plan was to make this big, you know, fan base or make this fake buzz about the band and then book a tour, which he did. And then hopefully, I guess, people would come out to the shows based on what they've heard about Threaten on the internet and, you know, uh, I think it's just troubling because in, I think it's just a perfect example of in the internet age how you just can't trust anything that people do or say online because it's so easy to game the system. Like in a system that's so easily gamed, like how can you trust anything that anybody says or that they are or that they do just based on this like subscriber, follower um, mentality. Like because there's a lot more to doing anything than just likes and, and votes and, and um, shares and things like that stuff can be bought that stuff can be created that stuff can be faked like it's it's troubling it's 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 a very troubling thing you know um i don't know i guess the main point is like if this guy can do it uh who else who else any anybody can you know it's like this isn't that elaborate of a, of a hoax to pull but you know, you gotta make a few fake websites and fake companies that represent you and make a few fake blogs and... Uh, I mean, it took some time. It definitely took some money and... Uh, I think your money would have been better spent doing something else than, than blowing it doing this. If, you're, if your goal is to get your band out there, like I could think of a lot of ways that would be more beneficial to spend the tens of thousands of dollars that Jared Threaten must have spent to do this. Um, but he got buzz, he got people talking about him, just not in the way that he expected, I'm sure. So uh, be careful what you fake things on the internet for. This is Mike from 424recording.com. Gods be my friends. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, you nerd, and make sure you hit the bell notification if you want to know when these videos go live. Uh, we'll catch you on the flip flop. Make sure you do something you want to do today, okay? Even if it's fake your band's fan base and book a fake UK tour that nobody's gonna go to, do it up. <laughs>